what give me your thoughts on what's going on with the farm in Poway. I mean, it used to be a golf course, then it was abandoned and, and went fallow. Um, and now it's a radical change what's going on up there um, off of Espola and Martin mm -hmm. you know, Tell me a little bit about your thoughts on that project and what you like or maybe what you dislike. Um, it's not what I thought it was going to be. <laughs> okay. Um, I, I, uh, I was invited to somebody's home that, uh, backs up into that development. Uh, and I saw everything that's happening there. Um, and it's not, it, it's not what we thought it was going to be. A lot of us, um, the, uh, the mounds of dirt, um, where the houses are being plopped on the, it looks like 20, 20 feet of raised soil. Mm -hmm. Um, and so now it kind of looks like terraces or something it, like a terrace type of feel, or yeah. it kind of feels like you're looking at a, a Egyptian pyramid with like a house on top. <laughs> I mean, that's how high it is. It's yeah. like, so kind of odd. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and then just also, um, I was at the city council meeting with when that lady, um, spoke about the, uh, reduced setbacks, um, how, how she thought that the homes were going to be, uh, 40 feet away. Um, and now it turns out that they're 20, 27 feet away from the property line. Um, and just seeing those pictures that she showed, which I don't think they showed all the pictures that she showed, um, on, on the video online. But we saw a lot of photographs at that meeting and the loss of privacy is concerning. Um, this late, there's this one house, uh, their backyard, there's like, at least from one view, there's like three houses that could look into their backyard and they're all like elevated. So, and it's not just one window, it's pretty much the whole, like half of the house that looks into the yard and you got like three of them and who knows you know, how many more homes on the other side mm -hmm. can look into their backyard and they're so high up. It's just, it's just like, it's like kind of like looking into a fish tank. Um, when you're feeding the fish, you're like up <laughs> above on the fish tank and feeding right. the fish. I mean, that's what it, it feels like a fish bowl. Mm, okay. There you go. Um, and, and that's, that's like heartbreaking, especially if you have kids and a family and you want to do, you know, gatherings it, it it just it feels kind of like like you're naked there like just like for everybody to see like yeah but, but isn't um, isn't the toothpaste out of the tube or the the horses yeah. have left the barn i mean we can't really take it back but what what can be done um what can be done is going well for that for that area um there's still some more development that is left. They're still clearing out spaces. They're still mm -hmm. loving out. What, what we need to do is that we need to have somebody out there and ensure that these folks are following the proposal, what was bid, what they bid to. Because what I'm hearing is that the city council approved proposal A, and then now what they're seeing is like, variances of proposal a and somebody is approving those variances and like why are those variances being approved and why is the community not aware of all these variances that are taking place after the city approves a proposal with the developer um we need to have somebody there on the ground looking at all this when i went through my home remodel the inspector was there like on point like checking everything my electrical my plumbing um checking all this stuff like they're doing their due diligence like why is it that this is not like happening here at these developments so so let's go back to that point i guess again i may have the numbers wrong mm -hmm. but there was supposed to be a 40 foot buffer zone yeah. and and that was the plan originally mm -hmm. now it's 27 mm -hmm. feet um so the so a variance must have been made cuz i'm sure the developer didn't mm -hmm. If the developer, it's too big of a risk to knowingly break that rule. Yeah, that's huge. It's yeah. Huge <laughs> yeah, you'd have to like tear the house down yeah. and start over. Um, so, uh, but you're right. Like who, 
makes those changes? Does the city council have to do that? Or is there like a bureaucrat in city hall that can just sign it off? Um, it, it seems like what what is happening is the latter, what you're saying, mm. that somebody else is signing off on this. 